Okay, so I'm working on the seven and a half horsepower uh, carburetor for my kicker. Um, this has all been cleaned. I just have to go through the, the uh, fuel pump. I've got a uh, couple of kits here, gasket kits. This is the fuel pump gasket kit. Uh, it's uh, part number from Sierra 18-7815. And I also, just in case I needed it, I, I got a new gasket kit for the carburetor. Um, and it, this is, uh, 187007, also a Sierra. I believe that's a Sierra. Uh, yeah, that's a Sierra part number. So anyway, it doesn't say Sierra, but it is. Um, okay, so I'm going to be pulling the, the, uh, fuel pump apart. So we're going to start with that. It's already a part, I've already cleaned everything and reassembled, just reassembled with all the old gaskets. And uh, so I wanna make sure I put in the new gaskets. Uh, I believe it uses this one, this one, this for sure, that one, and possibly this one. So I'm not sure about this, but <clears throat> all right. These are already loose. I've had this apart, did all the cleaning. So I just need to reassemble it. Just took a while for me to get the parts. It seemed like it, uh, it took a couple weeks. I don't know what the holdup was, but uh, definitely took longer than it should have. This is the new diaphragm. Go on like that. I probably could have gotten the, away with using the old one, but or using it a little bit uh, for a little while longer. But I figure while well, I'm at it, I might as well. So this old gasket's got to go. <clears throat> the new one is here. Then the diaphragm. And then we have the fiber washer and then underneath it is another, this is kind of a cardboard like washer, like this one. And it goes on this way. Okay, and then the fiber washer, that's the old one that goes on here. Like that. And then this all gets sandwiched like this. Oh wait, that goes on. That goes on like, yeah, like that. Wait a minute, I believe it is.
Yeah. And then this, of course, goes on top. And then that sandwiches all that together. Okay. I think I put a new gasket in here. That's that's a, a gasket I don't need. That's an extra one. But I think I put a new a new fiber gasket in here for the uh, screen and the fuel pump. I'm gonna check it anyway. I don't remember. That's the old one. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that. That's the old one. And I think I got a new screen in here as well into this in this kit. So so this is the gasket kit for the uh carburetor. Lots of good stuff in here. See, they even give you fuel pump, fuel pump gaskets. So it's kind of, I, I, it was redundant. I had to buy, I had to buy the, uh, the fuel kit because it didn't come with the diaphragm. This kit doesn't come with the diaphragm. So I had to buy the whole diaphragm kit. And I also had to buy this gas, the, uh, the carburetor gasket kit. So. This is what I need right here. And this one doesn't even come with a new screen. Oh, isn't that something? And the fuel pump didn't come with a new screen. Strange. But no matter, we'll use the old one. Looked pretty good anyway. You'd think the fuel pump gasket kit would come with a new screen. Okay, well, yeah, that's, that should be exact same gasket right there. And it is, so I've got extras, because I'm not going to need these. Um, that comes for a bigger carburetor. That's not going to fit that either. That's for like uh, that 45 horse I was working on. But that's what I need right there. That's for the intake. And this comes with a couple of new little washers. O-ring, that's for the bowl, 
washers for the bowl. So I don't know if you can see those. These are already new, actually, or they were in pretty good shape. Let me see here. These could be old. I forget now. No, these are old. Okay, that's this one's. This one is probably going to replace that one. Yep. And this one, if I remember right, this one was actually brand new. So this one and this one. But boy, this one, this looks too small to me. I mean, to compare the two, this is the one I had from another kit. And that, you know, of course, that doesn't fit exactly in that recess either. Maybe this does. Yeah, it does. That fits exactly into the recess. So I'm not going to use that one. Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, I'm going to take a pick and I'll remove this. This is the, uh, the old gasket. I'll put a new one in. Fits perfectly. Okay. That O ring, I believe, goes into the air mixture screw. In here. I'm going to take that off and take a look. And that was one, one half, two, two turns out. I just want to see what this had in there. Yeah, there's the O-ring. So I'm going to put a new one on this. It has, a new, it has a new washer too. So I think I'm just going to replace the washer as well. That's the old washer and the old uh, the old O-ring. And these are the new. So the washer and the O-ring. Because if I recall right, what I did is when I cleaned this carburetor, I just took it apart and then put all the old parts back in it. So lightly seated, one half, one, one and a half, Two. So that's two turns out. We'll leave it there. See what happens. Now these other washers are must be for something else. Oh, another type of carburetor. Because I don't see anything else on here. So that carburetor is complete. It's finished. And uh, so I'm going to take all these extras. Put them back in this bag. Some of these parts are old, but I'm going to keep them. 
Because you never know. Well, that O ring I'm not going to keep. That O ring's had it. That washer looks pretty good, but I'm going to throw that O ring out. And these two little washers I'm going to throw in the bag. And all these other, all these others are garbage. This is going to the garbage. Um, this O ring is going to the garbage. I not keep any of that crap. This I need to keep. So, okay. Next steps are going back on the, uh, on the motor. Okay, folks. It's, uh, the sun's coming out and it's thunderstorms to the north. I think that's no, that's uh, <laughs> that's east. Anyway, uh, they, they just went over, and uh, I'm gonna I want to get this carburetor put on this little 7.5. Uh, maybe do some fishing tomorrow if weather permits. So let's get at it. this hopefully it can without the pulling that motor off so the intake gasket is going to go on the intake of course Seating on there now. Okay. Now for me, and I think this is supposed to be facing up. So that this came around and uh, Okay, that should do it. We went on top of the stud and then the, then the clip. Like that. something like that. So that's how I'm going to do that. And then it's installed, so not, not, not a lot to it. Okay, a couple of bolts, a couple of nuts holding on the carburetor. First, I want to figure out this little, maybe I can actually turn this sideways this way and make it so this comes away from the uh, the choke. That might be a wise thing to do. Maybe I can get it out of this. Oop. Sometimes you just gotta use a little bit of help. Because things aren't that easy to get on. Now, if I use the carburetor to wedge it up against there, maybe I can spin that thing on there.
Hey, what do you know? So why not? So, not, all, not a bad plan. It's pretty tight. All right, they're both tight now. now let's see if I can just loosen this up a little bit and turn it. Of putting a wire around it, I'm just going to put a zip tie. Cause any damage though. Let's see. So I'm going to put a little lubricant. I don't want to force anything. This should be choke and that uh, wire retainer and I'm all set. Oh, let's see. Oh, okay, that's the interlock. 
and that pushes it okay and then that locks it okay that is correct okay so that interlock the way this interlock works is that this little cam assembly here pushes on this so when it pushes on it it frees it up so when it when it's in neutral it pushes on it and frees it so you can start it like that and you put it in forward gear or reverse gear this this little switch comes out this arm comes out and locks that so you can't start it okay that's so that's all going good everything looks like it's intact back the way it should be Now, I'll try to get it running. I'm going to fill it up with water, and we'll go from here. Okay. And I'm going to drop this down, turn it into the barrel. That's good enough. I gotta pull that barrel a little bit out away from the top. I don't want to cut my my water hose. That's better. You can see. That's better. It's almost full. But now it's half full. I'm gonna shut the water off once it hits the uh, hits the level, the overflow level there, and the uh, the water pump should be submerged at that point. So. Let's see. Primer choked. Ready? I might have to adjust the carburetor. All right. Come on, baby. And we're going to prime it again. Okay, it's primed.
starting to rain again, so I'm getting wet, and, uh, but I'm ready for tomorrow. I think this will be a good fishing day. I'm not trying to get that on film for us. Remember, it's live your fish out for repair, but we're going to be catching some fish tomorrow, so stay tuned. At least I hope. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.